there are 100 trillion cells in the human body. If you want to remove some of those cells to see them under a microscope, it's not easy to do. Because most of those cells are tightly attached to us. However, there are some cells that are loosely attached to our bodies and we can remove them easily. One of the classic examples is the cheek cells. Uh, there are two different ways we can remove the cheek cells. And one method is the easiest method, that's the Q-tip method. You take a Q-tip, you go inside your mouth, and you do this. By doing that, you attach hundreds of these loose cheek cells to this Q-tip. Now we have to add them to the slide. So you rub it to the slide and you add it to the slide. The second method is the toothpick method. You can do the same thing with the toothpick inside your mouth. By doing this, you have removed hundreds of these cells, the loose cheek cells, and you attach them to the toothpick. And all you do is you roll this toothpick on the slide to add these cells to the slide. After we add these cells to the slide, we can take them under the microscope and try to see them, but these cells are transparent. If they are transparent, you don't see much. You need to stain these cells. The classic stain that's used for the cheek cells is methylene blue. It's blue in color and it gives you the separation of some of the organelles inside the cell. But for me, from my experience, I am going to use the iodine solution. The iodine solution is red in color. It gives you a kind of uh, orange and yellow colorations inside the cell. And that's what we are going to use. A drop of iodine solution on the slide, a cover slip, and your slide is ready. These are the bunches of my cells. When you look at these cells, they are very nicely colored. And this slide is filled with many, many of these cells. Plasma membrane is the boundary of the cell. It contains all the materials inside the cell and it plays a major role of transporting the materials in and out of the cell. This is the nucleus of the cell that contains the DNA and the genetic material. And in most of the cells, you can see the nuclei. The cytoplasm fills the space between the plasma membrane and the nucleus and many organelles are suspended in the cytoplasm. I'm not 100% sure but I can say that this thing looks like endoplasmic reticulum, a network of tubules and sacs inside the cell and this is everywhere. All parts of the cell has this endoplasmic reticulum and you can see that right here.